Now, I think that we, I, I don't want to overlook anyone, but I was uh, thinking that might, we might be able to uh, move on in the uh, program. And um, we're not going to let the rain dampen right. our spirit. That's right. That's right. Okay? So at this point, we're going to, you know, shift the focus, and we're going to move over to the uh, flagpole memorial. And uh, after that, we'll come back and share a moment in history, a little snapshot that we want to uh, relate to you uh, concerning uh, our grandmother, the lady that we're honoring in the way of uh, the establishment of this flagpole memorial monument. So we're going to uh, stop now and we're going to shift or move over to the flagpole. And uh, those of you who can join us, those of you who want to stay dry while the rain is coming down, then you can uh, find shelter. Okay? For the unveiling of the flagpole memorial monument. And this monument I built as a tribute to my grandmother. Again, she is the lady whom I interviewed in the way of an oral history uh, tape that I made in 1975. And it's from that tape that we've been able to uh, uncover a great deal of family history. And uh, we owe that to this woman, uh, my grandmother, whose name again was Esther Cannon Hamilton. She was born in 1896 in Lachlan, Ohio. And she was the uh, uh, daughter of Cynthia Ann Ross of uh, Garrett County, Kentucky, and also uh, of John Hannon uh, from Garrett County, Kentucky. And uh, the Hannons uh, had come by way of Tryon, North Carolina. She would want me to say that. <laughs> even though even though we're in, in the rain, she would have wanted that said. So I, I, I have, to, have to do that. But we're going to quickly move to uh, the unveiling at this moment. see down at the bottom it says behold the only thing greater than thyself that's at the base the foundation okay and that comes from the uh, miniseries roots and Alex Haley so we pay tribute to his contribution in the way of uh, preserving family history and irregardless of uh, you know ethnicity and race because he did a tremendous uh, effort in unleashing people to find out about who they are Amen. and where they came from. But more importantly, it also holds reference to something, someone greater, greater than all of us. Amen. And so I thought, thought it was important for us to be in remembrance that God is God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay? Then we want to, of course, pay tribute again to my uh, grandmother, Esther Hannon Hamilton. And uh, on the top, which you may not be able to see, there's a poem. And the poem reads, On Motherhood and Women I've Loved. And it says, To a genetic African Eve along the Nile, To slave Liza Clark, an old woman worth nothing reviled. To Esther Hannon Hamilton, a matriarch profiled. To my mother so dear, Mary Frances Green. And to Linda, wife and mother of my children, an African queen. Yeah. And then it finishes with the greatest gift a father can give his children is to love their mother. That's right. Amen. And we, that's the kind of message that we want to send forth this day. Amen. We need to be in honor of not only this woman, but every woman yes. who has born a child, loved that child, nurtured that child, 
and raise that child to uh, adulthood. Amen. And uh, we just want to pay tribute to all women, mm -hmm. and specifically these women, uh, the daughters of Africans, I call them. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, part in this celebration.